unbelievable. It's over. We left yesterday, and it's already over. Thanks a lot, Mike. Oh, no, no, D don't blame me. The, the road trip was your thing. Well, you were plenty willing to come along. Hey, I didn't stop to pick me up. No, Mike, no, I'm not gonna let you do it this time. Do what? Twist everything around so it seems like it's all my fault. Oh, I don't do that. You always do that. Name one time. The brush fire. Okay, that's one. Jenny Templeton and the nail gun. There's two. My Grammy's heart attack. Now, you told me that was a surprise party. No, I didn't. Really? No. She lived, didn't she? On a court-ordered life support system. Okay, that, that's three. That's clearly three, but, but that's not the point Yes, here. it is, Mike. That's the point. No, that's no, the whole no, point. No, 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 no. This time it's not my fault, because you're the one who got brainwashed into this whole road trip by your mental psychotic dad. No, my dad's not mental psychotic. Oh. He's, he's a Marine. Don't blow this like you've blown everything else in your miserable, pathetic little life! Yes, sir. And he's... Now, in 1804, your ancestor... William Clark. Along with Meriwether Lewis, traveled 8,000 miles of America's western wilderness blazing... The Lewis and Clark Trail. Surviving blizzards, hostile natives, starvation, and venereal disease, they returned... Heroes. As did every male descendant in the Newton bloodline. And now that you are finished with college, you will follow the trail. You will return a man or you are dead to me as a son. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Only for emergencies. This Charlton Heston narrated cassette tape will guide you to each predetermined stop. And to take you on your journey, you will travel in this... Wow. Dad, the SUV. If anything happens to my sports utility vehicle or any of the gear stowed on or above it, you are personally responsible. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Yes, sir. Have a great trip, son. Come back a man. And remember, no hitchhikers. Dismissed. Don't fail. <laughs> Please, God, don't fail. I won't, Mom. Say goodbye, Grammy! <laughs> Bye to you too, Grammy. Your blinks are getting so much faster. You know, Sandy, I think I really need to gouge my eyes out. Why? Because then I could die knowing that the last thing I saw is you, Sandy. The most beautiful thing on earth. Oh, Mike, you are so romantic. By the way, my name is Julie. Right. Julie, honey, breakfast! Oh, God, not again! Oh, wait a minute, where, where am I? This isn't my room. You're not my mother. Hey, who are you people? What ah, the... There's another boy up here! No, Mom, I Later. He's going out of the window! Hurry, Fred! This one can really scamper! Take a good look, Dad. This is the last time you'll see little Gary Newton. By the time I get back, I'll be a grizzled veteran of the road. like what I did to his daughter. You're unbelievable. Can you ever get through a day without pissing somebody off? Where's the joy in that? Well, forget it. Where can I drop you off? Where are you going? I'm following the Lewis and Clark trail. Remember? Oh, yeah, that thing. Hey, I'm in. In what? What are you talking about? I'm going with you. Sounds like a party. No way. I'm supposed to do this alone. You? You can't do this alone. You're a target, Gary. A natural victim. If you're on the Discovery Channel, you'd be a wildebeest. No, no, I've been saving you from getting your ass kicked since kindergarten. Oh, yeah, name three times. Tim Zander. All right, that's three. Susie Zander. All right, you made your point. You need me, Gary. Hey, Lewis had a Clark, didn't he? 
Yeah, but I thought you had a job. I did, working for Julie's dad. Yeah, but you don't have any clothes or any gear. Have toothbrush? We'll travel. What about cash? $300 advance from Julie's dad. Well, what about your folks? Are they gonna be cool with you just suddenly splitting for three months? Only one way to find out. So, Mom, Dad, in conclusion, I think the trip will not only prove invaluably educational, but spiritually fulfilling as well. What do you say? I knew you'd understand. Hello, I'm Charlton Heston, your guide to the Lewis and Clark train. As you pass by the St. Louis Arch, set your hey, mileage uh, counters... Hey, Gary, and uh, does this trail go anywhere near, uh, like, Hawaii? Because remember Heather, the kneeler, wheeler? Well, she, she moved there. No, Mike, the trail doesn't go anywhere near Hawaii. Well, she's got a sister, squealer wheeler. No, Mike! You Shh. got the oil. You I'm listening to the tape. Fix or squeal. We're not going to know where any parts of the trail are if you keep talking, Lewis Mike. Lewis and Clark carried an incredible arsenal of weapons with them. I hope you're packing, too. The story of the trail goes back So to I the... held my 357 Magnum to DeMille's head, and that's how I got the part of Moses. True story. Anyway, you are now at the spot where the Lewis and Clark expedition was launched. Gaze out on the beauty of the mighty Missouri River. You're taking in the same magnificent splendor that Lewis and Clark saw on that first day back in 1804. This can't be it. Sure it is, Ben-Hur said so. I can't believe it. It's ruined. Hey, not totally. Look at that bird. He lives here, and you don't see him complaining. <coughs> Anymore? Just get a shot of me, let's get out of here. Okay, Gare, just smile and say, what's up with the outbreak, guys? I don't know, but I don't want to stick around and find out. Let's go. Ah! Remain calm if you want to live. What's going on? What's that noise? Shut up! We're at 6.9 rands and climbing. Excuse me, sir, 6.9 watts? It's hysterical! Don't have... Uh, could I get one of those? Yeah! Faster! Woohoo! I'm alone in my room and no one can hurt me. I'm alone in my room and no one can hurt me. I'm alone in my room and no one can hurt me. Who the hell are these guys? They can't treat us like this. Now give them a chance, Gary. I didn't really warm up to him till my fourth probing. Excuse me, but could you please tell us what's going on here? You came dangerously close to suffering radioactive contamination. Contamination? Don't play dumb, son. You saw the barricade tape, all the signs. What signs? Uh, Harry, you put up those signs at the cleanup site, right? Oh, that's it. I knew I forgot something. Gotta start writing things down. Oh, here's the good news, fellas. You're, you're going to live. Any hair loss, spontaneous vomiting, or abnormal color in your stool is only temporary. All right. Hey, do you feel okay? Never better. I got like a burning sensation. You think we were contaminated? Oh, come on, stop worrying, man. Those government guys promised us we're clean. Yeah, I guess so. than I ever could have imagined, Dad. I'm sitting here on the banks of the river where Lu Young man. Oh, my God. Lewis and Clark. That's right, son. We've come to warn you. About what? Your friend, Mike. He's an idiot. He just picked up a hitchhiker. Wait, I told him not to. Just take a whiff, hotshot. <laughs> ah! Oh, I hear you. It's hotter than blazes out there. I must stink. <laughs> hey, name's Trapper Jack. Mike, I told you, no hitchhikers. Relax. Trapper's not just a hitchhiker. He knows all about the trail. Really? Sure. Hey, matter of fact, 
There's a place just upriver where Lewis and Clark were attacked by a tribe of savages. Well, for your information, Mr. Jack, Lewis and Clark did not encounter any Native Americans until the Sioux at Council... Council Bluffs. That's right. <laughs> I know. You won't find this place in none of your history books. It happened three days before Council Bluffs, and that's the truth. <laughs> wow. I told you, bud. Never judge a bum by its cover. I could take you out there if you like. Yeah, sure. All righty. All righty. We're not anywhere near the trail, are we? No, but you sure as hell are being attacked by savages. <laughs> <laughs> Mike! <laughs> what? It's funny. Can you just tell me how you knew about Council Bluffs? The trail map was on your dash, college boy. <laughs> <laughs> now give me your wallet, real slow. All right, a platinum card. My dad said that's for emergencies only. Oh really? Hey boys, you hear that? Anybody got an emergency? Oh, I got one, Trapper. I need a hooker real bad. Yeah, yeah, I could use a box of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Shut your pie hole, Pudgy, or I'll blow out your kneecaps. Now take off them clothes. Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, oh, mommy, oh, mommy. You guys aren't gonna hurt us, are you? What are you talking about? Uh, he means uh, hurt us in a squeal like a pig deliverance kind of way. Oh, no, not again. He didn't mean it, Trapper. Yes, he did. They all do. Ever since that damn movie. <laughs> Trapper is the bravest man I know. And when you label him with a stereotype like that, well, mister, it hurts. It really hurts. I want to go now. But well, now's as good a time as any to alert you to the dangers of picking up hitchhikers. Never, ever pick up hitchhikers. God, the SUV! It's gone! Hey, why are you being all Mr. Negative? It's just a car. I've been on my own for eight hours and I've already failed. Oh, you always have to look on the dark side. I never have picked up Mike. Instead of saying, oh, we lost the car, try it like this. Ah, we lost a car. I should have run him over when he was in front of the truck. I've proven to the world that I am capable of doing anything right. Except for this. Die! Die, you miserable bastard! You ruined everything in my whole life! What was that? They're back. Oh, no! Hey, maybe they just want to cuddle. What? What do we do? Make dinner. No way. Yes way. I'm hypoglycemic. If I don't eat soon, I'll go primal. You saw alive, didn't you? But it's a bunny. It's a meal. You said yourself, when Lewis and Clark were starving, they ate their own horses, man. I mean, look at us. We haven't eaten since lunch. But, I mean, we can't kill something that cute. Don't think cute, man. Just look at it and picture something you hate. Yeah. Name for its head. Oh! This tastes really good. It almost makes you forget that we had to watch a twitch for half an hour. Plus, we can use the tendons to floss with. Yeah, you know, maybe that little rabbit's turned our luck around. I'll bet that they're going to find the car, all the gear, the kayak, the platinum card, my inhaler. You know, I think we're going to be okay. Aren't we, Mike? You bet we are. We just found us a good luck charm. Hey, hey Mike, wake up. Get up. We got at least a 15-mile hike back to civilization. Snowball? Where are you? Snowball? Oh, damn! I freeze my ass off all night, and the whole time we're sitting in someone's backyard? I'm freaking believable, <gasps> man! Work 
of Satan himself! Wait, 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 you don't understand! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move. In a satanic ceremony, you sacrificed and ate a pet rabbit! I gotta tell you, you boys picked the wrong county for your little dance with the devil! <laughs> We're just following the Lewis and Clark trail! What the hell for? I... I don't know. Yeah, well, I know. You're following Satan. Admit it. I think we need a lawyer. Yeah, and don't we get a phone call? Give him a quarter and get him out of my sight! Well, Gary, for once you're right. This pretty much sucks. Huh? Why, Mike? I mean, now we're eating kids' pets, we're partying with Satan, we're in jail, we're naked. Doesn't get much better than this, does it, Mike? Huh? Glass is half full now. Right, Mike? Right? All right, fellas, you're, you're free to go. What? Lucky for you, your story checked out. Great! Uh, we found your vehicle, too. Oh, thank God, thank you, God. Nice to hear you thank the Lord, son. Good choice. When you get to the impound lot, give this to Calvin and he'll get your car. Thank you, sir. You boys stay out of trouble. Oh, we will, sir. From here on out, it's all good. That's them! How long have you been killing for Satan? Devil lovers! A rabbit killer! The power of Christ compels you! This way! Who are you? Your last chance! It's okay. You're safe now. Hey, thanks for saving us. No, thank you. You guys are really further in the cause. Satan rise! Satan rise! All right, Coven, let's bleed for the Dark Lord! I'm alone in my room and no one can hurt me. I'm alone in my room and no one can hurt me. I'm Ooh, what's up with him? Oh, uh, he, he's, uh, chanting, you know, for evil. <laughs> you know, you guys can just drop us off anywhere. Uh, in fact, this place is as good as any. <sighs> oh, man, is this our lucky day or what? What the hell are you talking about? Look, man, look! SUV? Oh yeah, sure, that black one. Just came in. Oh, no, it's not black. It is now. Gary? You alright? They torched it. Everything's gone. Not everything. I just found my toothbrush. This <laughs> occasion. You have successfully completed the Lewis and Clark Trail. Con <laughs> I'm going home. What? It's over. We don't even have the map. We don't need a map. Let's blaze our own trail. The Gary and Mike trail. Look! I still got that cheddar I stashed in my boot. We can pick up a used ride and keep on going. Now, I admit, maybe a few things went wrong, but still, this has been one of the most exciting days of my life, man. Don't you see? God put us on this planet for a reason, Gary. To discover America at the dawn of the new millennium! Or you could go home and face your dad. <laughs> Gary and Mike trail, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm in. Boy, something tells me that you're going to be needing some new transportation. Oh, man, it's perfect! 64 Bel Air. She's a beaut. Who do you want for it? I'll let you steal her for 1800 We only have 250 Deal. Can't believe you let it go. Now where are we going to do the nasty? <sighs> oh, man. Do you smell something? Yeah. Some dead presidents, man. That was genius saving us 50 bucks. Sorry, Mike. 
It's already spent. On what? Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> what are you going to name her? Um, I think I'm going to call her Snowflake. Oh. Thank you, boys. You, you really made her day. And again, if we'd have known that that other rabbit was a pet, we never would have eaten it. Uh -huh. Go play with your bunny, sweetie. So, Mrs. Henderson, are you tired? Excuse me? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Okay, you know, Mike. Come thing. on, we gotta get going. We gotta go now. Later. Not if God is just. Bye-bye! You're such a cute bunny. You are. Snowflake! Come back here now, Snowflake! <laughs> All right, so where are we headed? Hell if I know. We could hit Vegas, or Memphis, or Hawaii for a little Wheeler action? Mike, anywhere but home. <laughs>